So welcome to the last module of this week and the name of this module is monitoring traffic behavior and preparing reports. So in this module, we will try to understand the behavior of your audience by analyzing the various reports and the metrics as prescribed by the Google Analytics. So in this module, you will specifically learn what type of reports are available in Google Analytics related to audience and website data. What type of data you view in real time about the traffic and website. How to study the behavior of audience on the basis of various metrics. What are acquisition reports and how to interpret these reports. And lastly, how to study the behavior flow of traffic on a website. So let us dive into the web analytics using the Google Analytics and see what is happening in our demo website right now. Open the Google Analytics dashboard. Before looking for any report, make sure you have selected the right property and view. In this example, my property is Google Merchandise Store and the view is Master View. If you want to change the property or view, just click on drop down arrow and select an appropriate property. Let us continue with the demo account and property Google Merchandise Store. All the reports presented below are with respect to this property and view. Let us go directly to the reports. We have different types of reports here and each report contains very comprehensive data. There are five types of reports namely real time, audience, acquisition, behavior and convergence. I will talk about each type of report in detail. First, we have the real time reports. I briefly talk about real time cards in the previous modules. As the name suggests, this is the live data of your property and the data is coming in real time. This type of data helps in taking the decisions in real time, especially to e-commerce sites or to see the immediate reaction of any event of your website. Just click on it to access various types of reports. First we have the overview. On the right hand side, we have the quick overview of what is happening on our website right now. Just see, there are 22 active users on the website. Out of these users, 77 are accessing our website from desktop and 23% are accessing from the mobile phones. This is clear indication that the majority of the users still prefer desktop to access our website. The next card is the page view. Now what is page view? Let me explain it. If a user will land on any page, it will be counted as page view irrespective of the time spent on the page. If a user opens new page of your website and comes back again on this page, it will be counted as one more page view. Let me show you an example here. See, I have opened the home page of my university's website. This will be counted as one page view. I have opened the another page. This will be counted as one more page view. Now I am going back to the same page. This will be counted as one more page view. In total, there are three page views, but only two unique page views. This card is showing me page views per minute. In simple words, it shows how many pages were viewed in a minute. Higher the number means more activity on the website. See here, 27 minutes ago, three page views were there. Similarly, one minute ago, two page views were there. Same way, the page view per second data is available. Now, we have the data regarding top referrals. Referrals means when a traffic is coming to your website outside the Google or other search networks through other websites. For example, I am right now on UGC's website and there is a link of Punjab University. I click on this link and the page of Punjab University is opened. It will be counted as one referral for Punjab University. For website owners, it will be interesting to know what are the other websites from where the traffic is coming. Next we have the top active pages. It shows right now what pages of our website user are browsing. 
see here our home page is being browsed by six users followed by other pages next it shows no one is coming to our website from social media and no keyword is there to analyze location is self explanatory it shows two visitors are right now coming from new york followed by others as i said this is just an overview you can also see detailed data on each of the metric from real time reports for example location now we have very detailed report with respect to location it shows there are 21 users on our website and the highest proportion is from usa followed by india mexico germany israel and others have you noticed data is changing in real time next we have the data of page view per minutes and per seconds next we have the data of each country with details of numbers and percentage of active users and the same data is visualized on map as well next we have the traffic sources showing the real time data now what are traffic sources it simply means from where the traffic is coming in google analytics there are four types of sources like direct organic campaign and referrals let me briefly explain them first direct direct sources represent those visitors that arrive directly and immediately on your site by typing the url into the browser's address bar or clicking on a bookmark or clicking on a link in an email sms or a chat message direct traffic is a strong indicator of your brand strength and your success in email or the text messages marketing it is also an indicator of offline marketing success next we have the organic source organic traffic is the traffic that comes from visitors who are clicking on organic search results of a scrp of any search engine whether the google bing yahoo or any similar search engine this is an indicator of how effective your seo strategy is that brings you to the top of the results on a first page the another source is campaign as the name suggest it is about how much traffic is coming through advertising campaigns like search campaigns display campaigns and other campaigns lastly we have the referrals i have just explained the meaning of referrals it counts the visitors that click on a link on another site and land on your website there is another term called medium now medium and source terms are used simultaneously most of the time actually there is a difference source is the origin of your traffic such as search engine for example google or a domain name for example example.com now the medium it is a general category of source for example organic search organic cost per click paid search is cpc web referrals is the referrals next we have the content the content section is related to the content of your web pages it is showing me the data of active pages page title and number of active users on each page next we have the events events are defined by the admin events simply represent an activity that will be defined by the admin of the google analytics for example one video view can be defined as an event a complete purchase can be defined as an event an app install can be defined as an event and so on we will see at an appropriate time how to define the events next we have the conversion conversions are goals that you define in the google analytics like purchase completed registration time spent on website page views per session and so on we have one full module on goals and conversions so i will discuss it there we have now the data about conversion that are happening in real time it shows that at present no conversion is happening at the top you can see the goal hits per minutes and per seconds as well so this was the discussion on real time reports 
So data retrieved from real-time reports is very useful to take the decisions in the real time. This type of data may not be very useful for bloggers or small websites, but it is really useful for e-commerce websites as they have to take the decisions in the real time, like changing of the prices to see the impact of offer and discounts. So in the next video, I will talk about the audience reports. So just join me there.